Hello, hello, welcome to Only Filler Podcast, the Asgard arc to your sensei. My name is LDJ, and with me, it's always Steve, aka Sausa TV, aka the Bold Ken. What's up, Fish? Bold Ken. So good, so good. Just trying to wake up still, but all good. It was an interesting week. Got a little bit of food poisoning with my favorite place. So you can say it was boring. Uh, there was also drama at work, which is always fun. But well, good, good. So overall, how do you get food poisoning with pizza, man? That that's been my question so far. That's that's like that was like the biggest betrayal of my life. I've been in toxic places and. A relationship, if you can say so, or whatever, or friendships, but then it becomes your favorite place tries to kill you. And after believing in it for so many years, is it then? Is uh, it like a, a big franchise place, or is it like a local pizza? Oh, no, no, no. It was a, a good old Domino's. Um, Domino's just, tried to kill you, man. Just yeah, it was it was such a heartbreaking story because yesterday I was trying trying to figure out what to eat because I I didn't prepare lunch or lunch wasn't ready and I was like the only thing that's cheap is Domino's and that is open and but at the same time I was like but I'm still hurt my feelings <laughs> my my stomach my my trust is is not is not repaired <laughs> and I was like no. Don't do it. Get, you you gotta be strong. You you can't go back yet. So the, the question I think is now: Will you ever, and especially your wife, would you would you ever eat again in Domino's? I Or will. I banned? no 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 no. I I I know it will take a little bit, at least uh, maybe a month to to go back to that to that uh, neutral uh, state in my head and in my stomach i don't know for her how long it will be but for me it was it will be like yeah still cheap i i don't i don't care i just i can't i i i, I can't be bothered i mean food uh, food has been has become Is, prices keep going up for everything. Food is one of those places uh, that, again, they keep going up. But what you gonna do? You gotta eat, and sometimes you cannot be bothered to do your lunch. Or uh, what ha always happens to me is that I forgot to to put the chicken to move the chicken from the freezer to the to the fridge. Yeah. So yeah, so I, I'm like, okay, I'm fucked today. So uh, might as well just order something and move on with my life. And, that, and that's it because work or whatever. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just good. Uh, it's good for, even though the food the price ratio is acceptable. <laughs> acceptable, yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that in some places that would be the case. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you guys, you know, but but just when you, when you told me the flavors, I said like it, it had to be the, the, the mushroom and, and olive oil pizza. And my, Most and my, likely, yeah. Most likely because of, of, of the mushroom, maybe they, they handle it bad or poorly. But man, just go with the pepperoni pizza. What happened? We we are pepperoni team. Just 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 pepperoni pizza. It, 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 it's okay. Everyone, no one will get hurt from pepperoni pizza. I, I guarantee that. Um, as as you are well aware, or as you well know, um, many people actually, many people I work with, especially in the states, even that I only work six months there, I'm able to eat the same thing for months, uh, yeah. even even almost almost a year, almost a year. Uh, but uh, this there have this how you could say that that uh, deal, this promotion uh that you can choose uh two two flavors so 
one half was uh, pepperoni and the other one was we wanted to mix it up just because uh because my wife likes it i'm like okay i don't mind it's whatever um and we we went with that and we ordered that pizza before and but this time well it wasn't uh, agreeing with us <laughs> no i can't yeah but 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 most likely i think and and she said the same like it, 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 maybe it was the, the mushrooms the mushroom was the because mushrooms are complicated if you don't pay attention to them they just go bad really easy <laughs> yeah okay okay man i'm sorry for you guys and hopefully you can forgive and forget what happened with dominus uh so let's let's get started today um we have a, a, a light we have a light uh subjects you know funny subjects it's, so let it's it's always light <laughs> No, no, light in the sense that it's not like, like mm -hmm. drama or or maybe not no that's not so much. Uh, we're gonna talk about summer movies, so we're gonna talk about Indiana Jones. We're gonna talk about uh, Barbie, Christopher Nolan, stuff like that. We're gonna talk about Mission Impossible. You're gonna see that today. Uh, we're gonna talk about finally Xbox Activision deal going through just a little bit. We we won't go deep into that because we already covered like that like three three pocket podcasts talking about xbox and activision so we're not an xbox podcast and we're going to talk a little bit of of twitter versus threats um application wise so let's 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 jump into action and start with uh movies uh, summer movies have you seen any movies like uh, since may something like that like uh, yeah I, i i can i can pick uh, or i don't know which will be considered a summer movie by so this. summer movie are officially spider-man yeah spider-man across the multiverse or across the spider-verse it is a summer movie so if how it is uh, like uh, how it is cataloged is from may 5th to september 4th that's the like the official summer uh window if you will mm -hmm. right so mm -hmm. spider-man uh, spider-man across the spider-verse is a summer movie you saw that i think yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah i did guardians of the galaxy volume 3 little mermaid no. transformers no. Fast, no. Egg, fast x <laughs> no <laughs> indiana jones elemental no. the flash no. the super mario no. movies it was uh, I tried to watch that, but yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> Sounds of Freedom, Insidious. Oh, let me just share this screen and then we can. Um... Yeah, yeah, no, I think the so far the only thing I've seen is the Spider Man across Spider Verse, and uh, most likely if things go well, we we'll go watch uh, Mission Impossible, and that will be it uh, because movies are hard in my town they don't they just they don't stick for long at least in my standards <laughs> okay so this is the summer the summer um box office uh i think this is for here the us america freedom freedom land and so you see right uh, spider-man across the spider-verse number one grossing uh, uh this was released back in june 2 guardians of the galaxy this is this is likely the last good marvel movie that we're gonna see in a long long time nothing but good praises for uh, guardians of the galaxy i've heard so that's there that's why it's number two uh, for the summer this year little mermaid made um, a lot of money transformer number four fast 10 it's number five indiana jones is number six i want to talk a little bit about that uh now we're getting into some of the um most likely uh, bombs so elemental was also a bomb yeah for, uh, for them. yeah the, the flash is really bad in the states yeah the flash is is not doing good here and and um super mario movies this is only from yeah so this is only the sales from the from the uh, from the summer, so this is only mm. but total gross gross. You can see it's it's the largest, so it's half a million dollars <laughs> in total gross. Uh, just as the, just the state, so I bet it's double 
<laughs> yeah, this is domestic box office, so this is the total gross. So this is, this is yeah, this is what they what Super Super Mario has sold this summer because this was released I think in April five. So Sounds of Freedom, or, yeah. Uh, so it's 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 a lot of uh, Mission Impossible is coming. So it released July two, and I have some projections. Uh, I think we're most excited uh, for for Mission Impossible two, obviously. Uh, I want to see Guardians in the Gal of the Galaxy, but I have to see everything on on streaming because I have a kid, uh, a daughter. Um, yeah, Mission Impossible. But yeah, so Indiana Jones bombed. It, it's bombing real hard, and I have some numbers. I, I, I didn't do charts. I just told them. <laughs> so this is from a channel that I follow. It's Dan Morrow, and he does this. <laughs> or a channel that does charts. <laughs> that does charts. I am the only guy that sees a. a uh, a show about charts, and you know how, how what what this uh, like series he has is charts with Dan. <laughs> that that that's who you want to be, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he pulled up these. I, I saw this this week, I think. So he pulled up like these numbers just just to understand the state of failure that indiana jones is looking at so indiana jones has a has a budget a report budget of 325 million dollars strong dollars baby and um so he's doing like an estimate for what uh, people have talked about of marketing that's uh pna 100 million dollars yeah it's it's yeah it's it's it makes sense. It makes sense. So it puts the it puts the movie at a cost of a total cost of around four hundred and twenty five million dollars. So take that number four hundred and twenty five million dollars. So when he did this chart, which was this week, uh, and we can double check that in the box uh, in the module box office, he, he, the gross sale for Indiana Jones was. Uh, I think this is uh, global. Uh, it was two hundred and forty-seven um, million dollars. That's that's just the gross of the of the movie. But then you have to take back. I think it's the, between twenty or thirty percent that that is that goes to the theaters, and the rest goes to in this case um, Disney, right? So mm -hmm. the net uh, income. Is 121 million dollars, and if you then rest the cost, it needs another 303 million in profit to break even, and it's not looking well. When you look at the drop week to week, um, it's it's just uh, it just it's just difficult at this point. Um, for Indiana Jones to pull that number, especially if you take into consideration uh, the new movies that are releasing this weekend. And yeah, weekend. yeah. I mean, Indiana. Well, Indiana Jones could be up, but now it's gonna face Mission Impossible, and that movie you just know is gonna do well. So those are people that are not going to pay for two movies uh, because you can't, or either you don't have the time, or you just want to be on the hype train and yeah no it's, it's just numbers are gonna if they're looking bad they're going to start to look worse <laughs> yeah they're gonna start to look gross and look they are they are not holding up so and and you know you're getting mission impossible you're getting barbie you're getting Oppenheimer, you're getting Oppenheimer. uh movies that are, are, are having some traction and and and, uh, and People will lose, still lose interest over time. That happens to every movie. That's why it, it's going, it's gonna drop a little bit uh, week to week. And uh, and yeah, man, that 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 doesn't look good for Disney. Another like huge bomb. So look at that that number. This is just for to break even. So we're looking at at most likely uh, losing money uh, from 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 theatrical releases. And then hoping to break even uh, via Disney Plus, maybe, and or, or because they or or do it. first they have DVD sales, which now are a smaller 
part of the equation, right? So yeah, those those that is something that the the industry pretty much shot himself with yeah, because the ground. Yeah. yeah, because the streaming killed that second income they had in the back. Because many movies in the past flop, but became cult like status, and they they sold uh, uh, millions just by by doing DVD sales or Blu-ray or whatever special edition or uh, I sure. don't know. Yeah, uh, and but that market is is dying or pretty much dead. It's pretty much <laughs> dead. I think. I think <laughs> if that's uh, five to ten percent of your total uh, income, that's too much. Uh, uh, yeah, no, and, so and, and it was good money. It was. I I remember. Uh, I one movie that comes to money was Dread. Dread really did really 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 bad in the. In the um, in the in the in the theaters, theaters. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and but when they went to DVD, people really uh, bought the movie and enjoy it, and that was more money. And and Dread is not by any standards like a like a high budget movie. is is an okay movie, but it has good action and uh, really not much of a uh, special effect focus uh, uh, kind of and deal, yet, but. Yeah. yeah, and that helped to break even, right? Because that was yeah, and it helps. And like, oh well, uh, look, money, money coming, <laughs> and, and people used to buy that. I, I I know this because, for example, you you gave me a, a, the the trilogy of Back to the Future, uh, which was a great gift for me. I bought uh, the um, the six movies from Star Wars in DVD. Uh, I think it's a DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, in a Best Buy, that because I, I, I love that movie, so I wanted to have like that collection, you know, that physical collection hanging there. Okay, I have mine. Yeah, it, it looks my, good. It, it looks movie. good. It looks yeah. pretty. It it, it, it it was so. And it's this, this is the issue. And, and you keep telling me that that, that that digital is the new thing. Yeah, I yeah, know they. It is. I, I, I know they want. I don't like it. Just, just, yeah. just to be clear, I just know that this is the new norm, man. I know that's the new normal, but you cannot compare the feeling of looking at the, your DVDs uh, around your, I don't, I don't know, your room, your apartment, your house, whatever, and then going to your PlayStation or whatever Netflix and scrolling through things like, yeah, this. Uh, digital things, these digital numbers here are mine. I'm like, yeah, but not really because they they, they decide to, if they decide to plug, uh, pull the plug, you don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, they're not yours and they move. Some, uh, so, for example, in the past, you used to have all Star Wars movies in, in Netflix and then they pulled that and you had also Friends and they pulled that and you also had, uh, I don't know, animes and stuff like that. So they, they pulled the licenses from one place to another. And and, and I want to show you these, man, because Bob, Bob Iger is obviously, he's the new CEO and he's noticing that they are in a bad place financially and so look at these key points man he's talking about pulling back content spending he's talking about cost reduction for star wars and marvel franchises and i think this is extended to maybe all of their movies because well indiana jones is actually a, a, i think it's a lucasfilm movie so that's also uh, mrs kennedy and yeah and and so they're looking to cut spending man and when you see at this number just the budget 325 million that's a lot of money that's even that's avengers type of money that you are burning into making a movie and and i don't know if more money is is is, is equal to best production man I, 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 it, it is not my, like to be expensive doesn't uh, correlate with quality necessarily in 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 all things sometimes in some cases it does but many of the times you are not getting what you're paying for and people don't realize that and that's that's a marketing thing and disney these days well they brought bob Iger back and 
he was okay. He wasn't good. I, I don't have anything against the guy. I yeah, met he wasn't the guy. a great guy. Yeah, he was yeah. okay. I, I, I met the was. guy and he seemed nice uh, at one time, but but at the same time, he was the one that put the people in charge now. Yeah. So you can argue that eh, it's all on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a numbers guy. He's not a exactly. creative guy. He's a, a, mm -hmm. a businessman, well-trained businessman. He, he, he knows what moves. He did really um, precise moves before he left, and that made the company a lot of money. But a creative guy, I wouldn't call him like that. He He's yeah. more like a, a sales guy. He knows sales. what to, yeah, he knows what to say, what to do. Uh, but on the creative side, yeah, no, he's that's not his forte. So look at this budget, man. Take Top Gun Maverick, hmm. 170 million, almost half of what Indiana Jones burned in, in, in budget. And take the box office is 1.4 billions worldwide at this point. I I think they made money. <laughs> I, just... I think they made money, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Disney is burning money with Marvel, with uh, Star Wars, uh, and they are not getting any money back, and they are losing money for 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 all terms and purposes. And this guy is just good at, at adding and subtracting numbers and saying, okay, the bottom line, we're losing money. So he says that it's gonna slash. 5.5 billions in cost, including 3 billions in non-sport content cost. And he says that Marvel TV shows, this is this is almost your statement, man. This is uh, when I read this, this is, I said, this is Steven. Look at this. Marvel TV shows in recent years, and I quote, diluted focus and attentions from the from the brand. Diluted attention. What do you think about that, man? I just, I, it just was a waste. They, they thought that to, if they keep uh, throwing things at people, people would keep liking it, and it, it did uh, for a time. But it's just that people need something else. Uh, we talked about this previously. It's like the Western cycle. Um, Superhero movies became that they people just need something else, but they still have all these big projects coming up. I know the Marvels is coming, and that 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 wasn't cheap. I'm sure that wasn't cheap. Uh, I can uh, remember for the life of me another Marvel big Marvel project right now. I know Loki is coming too, or something like that. Loki uh, two is coming, yeah. Yeah, that, that that's a TV show, but still, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. Um, I, I don't know what else, but you you're not looking, or at least I am not looking forward to any of this because I'm like, yeah, I, I sorry, I just don't care anymore. You you try too hard and you just uh, didn't pull through. I I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one point that this article makes that that, that was very interesting for me is also. You know, the streaming wars is also bringing another problem for 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 this like HBO and, and uh, Warner and, and Disney, and it's that the revenue that uh, was like that came from traditional TV and movies and, and licensing those movies to other uh, to 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 these channels uh, is now almost gone because they want to mm. have. And force people to, if you want to see all this original content, That's you true. need the streaming services. For example, you said Loki. I saw Loki one. I like, I like it. I, I thought I was actually it was a good movie, but it only lives in a good series, but only lives in Disney Plus. While mm. back in the days, they 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 distributed content throughout many other channels, right? So they license it to. Uh, Disney Channel, or uh, they, or they license it in other countries to uh, to other types of, of movies, right? Or, or, uh, and that's how they got like some extra to other types of channels, right? They had some extra. So he says that is not is it is a possibility that the company would license Disney content 
to other streaming platforms. It's the only way to, to get the most okay. out of your content. Because yeah, you can you can try to own everything, but you cannot do that. And you cannot also force people. People get I'm one of those people. I, I'm I don't like when I'm forced to do to use something just because. And uh, they are trying. They are doing that with people. There's there's a percentage of people that when they you force them to okay, you gotta do this in order to see this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't be bothered. I'd rather wait or whatever or don't watch it because. And it's not like they have the excuse like it is a great movie, so you must watch it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's 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 interesting how this business is going to evolve, right? So this article points out that as how Iger says that he's not ruling out licensing some content, and I know maybe it's not going to be like flagship content, but maybe some B list or, or or some TV shows, maybe uh, to other platforms uh, or to other streaming platforms. I don't know if that's going to be Netflix, but there are other platforms, right? There's, there are free platforms out there that you can use uh, uh like roku tv like tubi there's a lot of platforms here that, that you can use so maybe that's not gonna be netflix or maybe it's gonna be netflix but for some countries right like okay we're gonna license this tv show for netflix south america and only south america will be able to watch all these uh shows on netflix something like that right they they, they, they he can't but that's gonna be all, uh, also another string of income and, and so yeah streaming is is, is is tricky this is not invented and, and yeah disney is not in a good position with these movies and Iger says that they're gonna cut cost uh, cut cost cost uh, cut the um frequency in which they produce these this these movies so i think he has a quote like less less and with less right less money to spend and let's do less movies because we don't have money. Yeah. We don't have money. That's the, that's the point. Yeah, that's and the point. and the point. I, and they and they don't because they there was something that they they always kept him kept kept Disney at float really really hard and and the parks. there's another pe thing people are are not concerned. exactly the parks was a big 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 uh, income for them. And because of the pandemic and all that, and the layoffs, and people losing their jobs and all that, the parks had to close. They reopened. They they had a a, a, a big boom. I, I actually went there uh, almost a year back, and yeah, the parks are still alive, but it's not the same. It's not the same, and people are tired because they keep rising prices. And it's insane. It's, it's just stupid how prices don't stop going up, and they are charging for things that used to be free, and people don't like that. And no one likes that. If you're used to something, you're expecting it to be like that because it's, it, it comes with the service, it comes. or at least with the high with the high price tag. And now it's not there. Like they, they have this stupid genie plus system that is the worst, is the worst nightmare ever. And like, uh, and I was like, I can't be, bo and I can't be bothered to try to figure this out. And it's not free. It's not even free. It's hard to use, and it's not free. So I'm, it's like 20, 15 bucks extra on, uh, or over your hundred uh, plus uh, entrance fee. So you just go insane. Just go and say, like, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I know this place, so I, I, I will figure it out. And, and on top of no. that, they are fighting with Florida's governor, with, yeah. which uh, you cannot do that because Florida, they have always given, like, Disney some, let's say, some freedom, some licenses to operate. And, and then, you know, you, uh, you gotta, you gotta. Take it easy, like shield with, with yeah, yeah, yeah. of deal, man. You don't need to pick up. You can, uh, yeah. you cannot buy the the hand that fits you. You can't. You just can't. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't. And, and, and and so that that's not helping. So Disney is a, is in a very dark spot right now, man. Yeah, it's it's, it's tough because they they also and and just 
uh, remember they they bought these franchises for billions of dollars star wars uh, indiana jones uh, lucasfilm whatever uh and, and they got the money back and they're just in a way but they when they release these movies they expect to make money and it's not happening at this, <laughs> one, at this point it isn't yeah but they got all the money so they, got, they bought lucasfilm for four billion dollars and they <laughs> They got that money back with the three, with the three movies that they released because everyone was expecting, like, the a Star Wars movie, right? Like, oh, maybe we're gonna come, and you had Luke and you had Leia and you had Han Solo, yeah, and everybody was nope. <laughs> foolish expecting like the continuation of that story. We never got that, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, all, after the first one, all the the income was was like uh, slowly coming down. And, but they got the movie, right? They got the money. Nonetheless, they got the money from the $4 billion with those three movies. After that, I believe that they have been losing money except for Rogue One. Rogue One did good. And then Han Solo was a, a, a total loss. And then from that point on, uh, they have been, I think they have been losing money with Star Wars because the Star Wars fandom is, is, is going to, judge you right and react to what you are putting out right it's, it's just that simple so man let's move i didn't put this let's move to the other summer movies that are coming up and i thought that it was it could be fun man we thought we, we did we talked about this a little bit in our chat but i wanted to do this with you man i didn't tell you this is, this is wow. a surprise let's do <laughs> Charts, charts. No. Let's do a tier list or uh, Nolan list. movies. Now that uh, Oppenheimer is coming uh, up, I think it's the twenty first, uh, or is it this weekend? I cannot remember. I think it's the twenty first. Uh, I think it's the next. Yeah, the twenty first. Not the twenty first. Sure. Yeah. So um, let's rank the Nolan uh, filmography into. Mm. Our combined let's let's try to have a combined list of uh, our favorite uh, Nolan movies. Man, this is perhaps one of uh, the greatest um, directors in our lifetime. He's up there, I think, with with Quentin Tarantino. He's up there with uh, I don't know who else you have up there. Uh, he's not yet at the Spielberg mm. level, but he he's up up there with Tarantino, like in, in fandom. Man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, Nolan is one of those guys that you hope to see his movies, or at least you're waiting for them in the, in the back of your head, you know, oh, I'm going to see that because why not, it's the guy, the guy that made this, 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 this. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and, and. If James Cameron is, is another one. James Cameron because is another one, say. yeah, James Cameron, he has some minor flops, I will say, um, but, mm. um, that, but he's huge, like in the industry and the and the and the evolution of, of you cannot tell the story of cinema without talking about James Cameron. I think that's true. Yeah. You know, when historians are gonna look back into our decades or, or our lifetime and look about uh, cinema, they have to include a chapter for James Cameron. Man, this guy also he revolutionized movie with terminator then with uh with uh, titanic and then with avatar he's a visionary uh, and, and he's a visionary. yeah and even if he's not pulling movies out he's creating new technology which is just crazy just crazy yeah <laughs> that guy is also at this level yeah so let's talk about nola man uh s tier uh, where do you want to start s i no, let, let's do let, no. Let's do let's do the order you have down, and we keep we we try to pull them as as we. Could. Okay, okay, I like that. As see, I, I like that. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's try to describe what, which is for, for our podcast only. So this is Batman Begins. Let's start with Batman Begins. Where do you put it? S A B. Batman Begins for me, for me, for me personally, for me is an S. For me, okay. As I was thinking, an A because I know yeah. the other movies that are coming down the line, and we have to like differentiate them because he has, uh -huh. in my opinion, all of his movies are good. So we have to try to make. A... <laughs> yeah, you, you you cannot go as with everything. I know. I know. Yeah, I was thinking A, but maybe like left 
left A, you know that this, this is supposed to go up and then if you are to the left, it's like better. So mm -hmm. maybe we, we, mm -hmm. we put it, let's put it and we can move it if, if we decide. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I don't have an issue with being an A. Yeah. An A, okay, okay. Batman Begins, it's an A. Now this one is The Dark Knight Rises. Dark. I think that's, I think, oh wait, Dark Knight Rises is the third one. Is the, Oh, it's the third one. Okay, that's an A. That's an A for me. Yeah, an A for me, but an A to the right. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, like an A below Batman Begins, but it's still an A. Okay, I, I agree with that. Well. Okay, two for two. The next one, Dunkirk. I really like it. I I really like it. I I but I like the other two better. So I think that will be a B. For me, it, it won't be an A, but it will be an A in the technical area. Yeah. The story in the technical it is slow, man. The story the, the, the story is just a regular war story. It's not nothing groundbreaking. It's a war story. And war stories are are good. Are are good. I don't know. Uh, they are important. Let me let me let me confess something here, man. And I fell to sleep a little bit in Dunkirk. <laughs> and I, and I, I and and even though it's not a bad movie, I don't think it's a bad movie. Technically, it was beautiful, but it, there was a part like in the story that was very, very, very slow, and maybe I was tired mm. that day, and my eyes yeah, started to, to, to close a little bit. So I'm, I'm gonna put it in the B too, as you said, mm -hmm. and we can review mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. after. Next one, man, uh -huh. Inception. No, for, for me, it's an S. It's, yeah. Inception is a. It's it's a easy. it's a mushroom trip. <laughs> it's know. an easy as man. It's an easy no brainer. <laughs> Did you watch this movie? I haven't. Insomnia. In some, give give me a second. Can't remember because if neither of us watch it, we can just leave it down there. And, and, and because yeah, I think that's the only one I didn't. I haven't seen. No, uh, which no. which following? I don't know which one is this. Is, yeah, but yeah. Uh, no, no, I haven't watched it. I, I'm looking at uh, screenshots. I have no idea what this movie is. Yeah, me neither. So we can move to the next one. It's Interstellar. Oh, I, that, that Interstellar for me, I think, is an S okay. as well. I, re I really like this movie. I really like that movie. I, I found the concept really, really... And the story as a whole, I think it really... Holds, yeah. Uh, holds, closes. It might be a little bit on the... Technical or um, you know, time traveling, string theory, physics, whatever. But it's not as complicated as something no, that's gonna come up next. And, and, and <laughs> you know what? it's a movie that sticks with you. You remember Morphe. Yeah. You remember, you know, yeah. you remember the robot. The you, robot. Remember. <laughs> you remember the scene where Matthew McConaughey is crying. Uh, you know, you remember the black hole. You know that they wrote yes. a, a paper for that black hole. It's it's a movie that stays with you like forever. So yeah. my question would be, is an S, but is it before or after Inception? Talk to me, man. Talk to me. I think it, it is Inception, but better. So I think it's better. As a whole, I think wow. I, I, I like it more. I for me at least. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. It's interesting. So Inception has like the plus that is like a an action movie, I would say, versus Interstellar mm. that is more like a drama movie. Conceptual. Yeah, conceptual. conceptual. I don't know. Yeah, drama, science fiction kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to agree with that. You you sold me on that Inception Interstellar. Let, let's put it there. Um Memento. Memento, man. Memento, Memento, Memento is good. It's a good movie. It's it, it's, it's it's one of those movies as well as Inception. Actually, well, now that I think about it, most of Nolan movies are really rewatchable movies. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm, but I think Memento is like that one that you must watch at least twice to get the most out of it, or to actually make sense. It's not that you cannot get it on the first time, but it's it's not easy. It's not easy. I would. I would say that Memento is good, but uh, it's not as great as many people like have it like in their mind. It's like they have like this movie. I think has like a cult uh, online 
And it, yeah. it's a great movie, um, but it, it, when you compare it to the other work that he has done, and obviously this was some of his early films, and he has evolved as a director, uh, and so he's getting better, I guess. Um, so I, when I compare it to the others, I would say it's better than Dunkirk, but it's not better than the Batman movies. So I would put it before Dunkirk, uh, but uh, after B. I don't know if you'll agree. Let me let me. Yeah, B, I, I think it was a B for me as well. I obviously I I, I like Dunkirk. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but oh, okay. uh, but. But Memento, but Memento, yeah, I, it's not a bad movie, but it's not like one of his best movies. No, I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we agree, we agree. It's a good, it's a good movie. You, if someone hasn't watched it, it, they need to go and watch it just because it's part of of a great filmography. Uh, and I did it. I went and I think I looked it up on Netflix, and it was there. And then I, I saw it, and and, and I enjoy it. Yeah, but yeah. So Memento B. This next one, it's going to be maybe a little bit controversial. It's Tenet. Tenet, the back and forward, the quantum mechanics mm. of things, I guess, a spinning. Tenet, uh, Tenet, I don't, I don't know how. I haven't fin finished Tenet. Wow. I wasn't able to. I, I, I was like, man, this feels going like. Uh, to school and I didn't like school <laughs> so I, I I was like I I, I see it I, I see something there but I'm like sorry I I hate school and you you want to sound really smart and most likely you are smart because I mean you have to be in order to make these movies uh but I feel Tenet is trying too hard way too hard <laughs> yeah it's one of his most intellectual movies by far uh and and he's going places uh, not only with the physics but also with the story he's trying like to make a uh, an argument about you know like fixing your stuff like going back into you know like like moving up uh, and and the character has a growth uh, uh, similar to what he's doing like going back and forward it's it's um it's interesting. I would say I, I saw it completely. I would say it's also a B, and I would say that maybe it's just very close to Dunkirk, or if not a little bit less, just because it's it's confusing. The action is great, and as always, all his shots. He doesn't use a lot of CGI. That's why I think we we like it all his action because it's very uh, real uh, or very credible. You, you feel like the the stakes of the action and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I would put it like in a B. I don't know if I would put it in a C because just because I don't think he has bad movies. Um, I just think he has yeah. movies that are not for everyone or, you know, but he, he hasn't had, I don't know. I don't think he has a bad movie. That, that's my take. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's true. And many people, I, I bet there's people like uh, they uh, they watch the movie like, oh, I, I don't understand it, and but it looks good. Um, so you're you're missing a bit, but but the, he yeah, the, his movies they are for a broad audience, but not for everyone. Yeah, they are not for everyone. That's right. And even his new movie, movie right? Uh, it's it's not even for everyone. It's an R-rated movie, and, and, and so it's, it's deep, and he's cutting deep, yeah. So Tenet, I think it's a, a late, late B. Um, let's say a B minus, uh, like they would say here mm -hmm. in the United States. So now we have The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight. So the Joker, that Dark Knight. Mm. Yeah, for me, that movie, I think just for Hugh Ledger's por uh, portrayal or acting, uh, that's an S. And my my thing with The Dark Knight, I think from, I really like the first one. The first one for me, when I saw it, I love it. I, I love every minute of it. And, and, and my argument for the first one being an A, an S, sorry, was that without the first, you can't, we, you cannot have the second. Of course. Uh, because that's why the second is so good, because it takes what it was good and made it even better. 
I think the third one is it, it is an A. It's not a bad movie, but the 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 trilogy is so good that the first the first two are so good that compared to the uh, the third one to the first two is like it's not bad, but I think the first two were better. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and you know the story behind it, right? So the third one was always gonna be uh, also a, a a Joker movie, and hmm. and, and since. Uh, uh, the actor died, Heath Ledger died, so they had to like redo the script or completely change it. I, I would say, I should say, and and they did a great job. I love, I love the depiction of Bane. I love the depiction of of Tali Al Ghul and the, and the whole like drama that's going there and the twist. I would say because you don't expect the twist at the end, like mm. oh she's the bad girl and she's mm -hmm. doing... so. I, I love that like that type of of of, of of twist on you and then you go back and you see like all the hints or oh yeah it was there so this guy is just helping her okay that it makes sense and you kill and uh, his father and that's a callback to the first movie so it's like closing up even pulling from from the trilogy so yeah uh, i would say that dark knight is better than dark knight rises of course and i would say that dark knight is also an s tier movie uh just because it it also like spawned uh, or, or launched the super movie hero genre, right? Yeah, th this uh, this is pre Marvel, pre Marvel era. So I, that's that's commendable. <laughs> yeah, and this was after the whole like after Spider Man has has fell, like after Tobey Maguire Spider Man fell, then and, and and we were like in a place like like superhero movies weren't really doing well, and so we had Batman Begins, which was good but it, it wasn't like a smash hit or box office hit and i'm gonna show you the box office of of nolan uh, but then when dark knight came it was like an, an a smash hit like complete success from a financial standpoint of view from a technical and a story point of view and then you know like it's it just so important into movie so i would say it's an s2 so it's an s after before the others what would i think that's 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 good that that's that's a, a good spot for it i think i i i wouldn't put it like uh ahead of, of inception or yeah but it's, it's a movie that holds on on its own yeah it is you can watch it as many times as you want as you want i've done it I've mm -hmm. rewatched that movie like, like you know what i used to do is that when i wanted to do watch something that I already knew, but I didn't want it to be like too distracted. I put I put Dark Knight, the Dark Knight, and I just hurry it and, and you know, and and, and it was it's just good good movie. The next one, man, The Prestige. This is that's an A. a. That's, that's an, an A. a. Yeah. That is not like an S, like above now, but but it's a good it's, it's a good movie, it, and it has great actors on it. And great actors, man. Yeah, I. I this guy, this guy likes to work with with good people. I mean, obviously, he likes to work with uh, Christian uh, Christian Bale, and and he he kills it. He he do he does two roles in this movie, which is just stupid when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, and you don't notice it, and and the whole movie is a magic act. That's that's the point. Like, and and, and the, at the end, you get the prestige, which is like the revelation of the magic act, and. And the wow and the awesome, right? So it, it's it's just a perf a perfect story, like very well told story. Uh, it just closes, you know. It, it just makes sense, and it's like a perfect circle of a story. And it, uh, and yeah, it, it's just a classic Nolan, a good story. And I will put it an A also, uh, 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 and and maybe tied with Dark Knight Rises. I, I, I like both movies. I have a good. The Prestige is in a very good spot in my heart as a movie. And are you watching closely? Uh, yeah, it's just great lines. Great. No, it's is is it's a good movie overall. It has Christian Bale, uh, Hugh Jackman. He has oh, this guy that he does Alfred. I I forget his name. Um, yeah, he works also with Nolan like in every movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's everywhere and he's a great actor. I, I don't I want to say Lloyd, but I know he's not that, that Christopher Lloyd? Name. No, no, it's Christopher no, Lloyd. Uh, 
His name give me a second inception because why not? He appears everywhere. His name is and I'm not finding it because, because fuck you. Michael Kane. Michael Kane, that's his name. Yeah, man. He he's just such a good actor and he appears i think in one two three four five of his movies so no th this guy this guy is everywhere and he's been around for <laughs> oh god he's 90 years old this is going to be bad uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be sad when he dies man no no yeah th those those like we we grew up with this actor and they're not from our they're not from our generation. They're, they're not even close to our generation. They are, they are even before that, but they are being they have been there uh, through our yeah. life, basically. <laughs> let's let's close this. Well, just saying. Okay, I'm going, I'm just gonna go through the list, and and, and so it's gonna be S tier, Interstellar, Inception, Dark Knight, A tier, um, Batman Begins, Dark Knight Rises, The Prestige. B tier is gonna be Memento, Dunkirk, and Tenet. So let let us let us hear you guys on the comments if you're listening. Uh, what do you think about? And now, you like it? Do you like? No, I the think overall? I think it is it is it is what it is. I don't have a, a problem with that. I think they are in the right spot. I like we said, there are no C movies here. There are no bad movies. They are just. Good and better and even better movies. <laughs> yeah, and weird movies. I would say like Tenant yeah. and Memento are weird movies, but yeah, they're good. Let's see. And I think Oppenheimer is going to be a great movie. Um, there is the myth of how he did the explosion, you know? That's the, the, the myth going on or around Hollywood is how he did the explosion because he doesn't he said that it wasn't CGI and he's not a very he, he got he got himself an actual nuke. Yeah, <laughs> people were saying that but he, he came out and said like you know it's funny that people actually think that but it's also scary. Uh, yeah. yeah um it's it's gonna be a great movie. So let's move let's move into another subject. Um I was gonna share very quick I think let me see. <coughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I had it here. Where is it? No, no, no. Oh my well, god. The, the gross the box office. Uh, oh, box office of yeah, his of movies. of his movies. Ah, did I close it? Uh, Twitter, Twitter, party project. Bar. Um, ah, every Christopher. Here it is. So. 11 the following i haven't seen this movie i think this is one of his early movies this is from 98 and this these numbers are not even adjusted to inflation so this is a rookie guy he doesn't know how to do charts man <laughs> noob <Seems> memento <laughs> yeah memento from 2012 he did 40 million dollars uh the prestige is number nine in box office in so is this is from what 2006. Insomnia uh, with Alfred Pacino. Al Pacino. We need to see that. Yeah, Al Pacino is on it. I, I saw a screenshot like, no, no, no chance I seen this movie. <laughs> Number eight. Tenant uh, 2020 is number seven with 360 millions. Batman begins with 370 millions. Uh, and it was number six. Number five is Dunkirk with half a million dollars number four it's interstellar with 700 million dollars give or take inception 800 million dollars number three number two is the dark knight rises mm. with one billion dollars and number one is the dark knight the dark knight was number two i'm sorry and number one is dark knight rises third one with uh, a little bit more uh, than the other one but also one billion dollar yeah. uh, um, the thing is that it's batman batman is a superhero that everyone knows in in, in a degree at least and it's and, easy to comprehend them as well <laughs> and with nolan so and people had a good yeah so, it was a win-win situation for everyone <laughs> yeah let's move to another subject man this week also marked the birth of threats 
uh, the so-called uh, Twitter killer. For for me, it keeps sounding. I know it's not like that. It's not even close. But threats for me sounds like something bad. Like it's a threat. It's something. It's a threat. We are threatening you. <laughs> yeah, but, like 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 you know threats. Like, like yeah, you know the, of thoughts on people right. and, and the conversation. So so Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, let me check. I mean Mark Zuckerberg released threats. Um, oh. There we go. Oh, too many clicks. I'm sorry. So Mark Zuckerberg released threats, right? And uh, as a another like it's it's they're called like micro blogging, mm -hmm. social media app, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. To be like a uh, more positive uh, platform to express your thoughts, whatever. That's not there. Never. That's never gonna happen. Um, and then um, the story, the first five days was the 100 million signups, uh, that being the fastest debuting app of all time. Um, so people, when they saw that number, like $100 million in five, 100 million <laughs> signups, I'm sorry, in five days, like the fastest growing, everyone assumed like okay this is just gonna take twitter right because it's 100 million in five days but as you know how did you create your threats huh? are you there oh i think i lost you oh i lost i lost him it's okay it's okay he's gonna come back um let me try let me try something yeah so he was obviously uh, everyone knows this but um how you create threads is through instagram so if you go to instagram you um you would then create a, a, a threads and it was just easy just click of a button and and that's it um however when you analyze that number to the Instagram like active users, so Instagram has 2.3 billion active users, and only 100 million users jumped or created with one bottom. So it's not that huge number when you compare it to when you compare it to um, to your already installed base that is Instagram. And then people start talking about, okay, is this the is this the the Twitter killer? And um, I would argue that it is not, just because if you go and you watch the numbers and and you go, for example, into Google Trends, something like that, and you see that actually the interest over time is declining. You know, um, while you have Twitter that it's, it's, it's always the interest every day is, is always there. Actually, the, the interest in threats is, is going down after they had the, their peak. If you go to, let's say, 30 days, uh, they had obviously their peak uh, July 6, when everybody was talking about threats and the 100 million users and stuff like that. But then they just started to... to to fall down and they continue, um, at least in, in, in interest over time here in Google Trends. But also when you compare the engagement, right? So this is an article that, that, that was published on July 13, and it says that threads had seen drops in daily active, active users and time spent on the app since the weekend, which means that there's no one to talk or there's not enough people to talking in threads um to make it worth being there and as so people start to lose interest in that looks like um it looks like we have hey betty uh, are you there can you 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. We can. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not sure otherwise this is going to crash uh, because this is my phone. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Threads. 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 So I was, let me do a, a summary of what I was just talking about. So I was talking about the initial like launch of threads, you know, the 100 million signups in five days. But when you compare that to uh, Instagram's active users, which are 2.3 million billions with B, then it, it is not such a great percentage. So uh, um, even though 100 million is a lot of signups, which they are not very telling of actual interest for me, this is my argument argument. They are not telling of actual interest in the application because these are uh, just people from Instagram that click, okay, create an account. I did that and I don't use threads. And, and I think you created it, mm -hmm. everyone created it through, through mm -hmm. Instagram. And it was so easy because it was, if you have a, an Instagram account, you can just have a, a threads account and you don't have to do anything. And what I was showing and actually uh, arguing is that the, um, that the social apps is losing interest, and there's there are articles about that. So after the the boom of threads, you know, July six, everyone talking about threads or how it's that the, the Twitter killer. Uh, actual numbers show that the interest over time has declined and is declining. And even um, there are news articles showing how there are less active users and uh, daily, and there is less time spent on the app daily. Um, and and so what I was arguing is that, and I, where I was going with this is that it's it's very very unlikely that this is the Twitter killer. And 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 I think that just as Mastodon and the other ones try to do it the 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 point of having a, a social media like twitter where you express your thoughts and, and your tweets and you and, and it's, it's that there is enough people there to keep you interested in the platform and just as mastodon suffered there is not enough people there right and 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 i've seen this mm -hmm. comparison and it's like um it's like going into a party before it starts. Uh, it, yeah. and, uh, you know, you don't know anyone, right? Um, it's it's empty. Maybe there is a couple of person, but you don't know them, a couple of people. And there is not people to talk and not enough people. So um, it's interesting. What do you think about threats? What do you think about the boom or, or, or the title of the of the Twitter killer? Nah, I mean, Twitter killer, no, but it would be more like a Twitter, uh, I guess, competitor, competitor uh, more than a killer if it comes to that. But because even, even that is not something that's going to happen for sure, especially because these social media apps, they depend uh, pretty much on their users. If they make things good in threads or doing something groundbreaking or I don't know how or what will imply that, or if Twitter keeps doing things bad, then it will become the, a Twitter killer app. But as it is right now, it's just, it's just the new hot thing on the corner. And, and it's cool as, enough. Yeah, it, it, it's the new it's the new kid on the block, the, the new cool kid on the block that smokes and and it's cool. It's just cool and no stuff. But I found hilarious how these influencers were promoting the 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 app as as it was released and like yeah you're doing that for free. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm totally sure. And like yeah, you you weren't pay a hundred k for for doing a post, right? Because there were people, huge people like Ninja on the gaming side, and influencer like Amanda Cerny and other other girls, and you know I think that the Melio as well. I can't remember her name. Um, they were all promoting the app and Pokimane and all that. <laughs> I hate her, man. I hate her. I mean, yeah, no, I follow her because it's just so. 
it's just mm. everything is so fake. <laughs> everything is so like, oh, look at me. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know what? I think I think all those influencers and, and they or they got paid or they are or some people as also some some people just as they did with Mastodon that I'm quitting because of XX politics, you know, and, and mm -hmm. I think like threats is getting that vibe of to be of being the liberal Twitter, you know, as Mastodon was supposed to be the conservative like Trump based Twitter, because back in the day they were banning Trump and they were banning people that didn't like, I don't know, COVID vaccines or whatsoever. Um, now threats is like, okay, we hate Elon Musk because Elon Musk is weird or, or we don't agree <laughs> with him. Um, we don't like him anymore, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, we don't like him anymore because he um, banned Trump or whatever. And now we have built we have built our own Twitter for for uh, our our political views. You know, it's just I I feel like the same vibe as Mastodon. As, as people trying to go there, okay, here is better. We, we won't hurt each other here, which is, it, it won't happen because social medias are social medias. And, 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 and they got paid and they got, uh, and it's, it's not enough, you know? You need just people. And, and my point is that just technical innovation won't be enough. You know, and, no, and, and it's not even that. The only thing threats as it is right now, apart from the talk and you know this noise, is that they don't have ads. As soon as they they implement ads, things might change because, I mean, social media is that is ads ads. What is uh, what is this? ad service doing in my social media like <laughs> yeah they need ads and they don't have now because they don't have the people to sell the ads to and yeah, no one is gonna uh, they, they're taking it easy because we, but we all know it's gonna come to that they're gonna have ads in there because i mean you have to <laughs> i didn't like that she didn't like that she didn't like the ad <laughs> opinion <laughs> see yeah i know man. um <laughs> Don't get me started. Yeah, so, um, so uh, yeah, uh, you know, one thing that 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 always amazes me is that users they do not follow necessarily the for social media the technological advances and I, I, threats doesn't have any just because it's just a copy paste of Twitter and maybe the only feature that is different is that you have to have a, an instagram account and you have to be like a person you know which is good um but other than that when you 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 analyze for example snapchat you know when snapchat came it, it, it was a huge, a huge boom also people were talking about snapchat and the features and the stories and how you had you had chats that uh you couldn't print screen or you couldn't uh, share or, or stuff disappeared, you know, and mm -hmm. everyone was, oh my God, this is so amazing. And then it got copied by Facebook actually. And, and, and they just lost interest for, for the majority of people because you, you had the same features in Instagram and Instagram had something that Twitter didn't. And it was the people, the, the, the base of social media. So social networks need, that the network you need to have like all the people in there um to make it worth like interesting right that's why facebook is still big just because it is like a snowball effect you know and mm. for these newer um for these newer uh like social media social uh, apps they it's not just about technology it's about people and what you're letting people do and i think that's that was the success of tiktok from a social media standpoint is that tiktok uh, allowed people to do something that you cannot do in other platforms and it's basically do pornography it's just like <laughs> and what you can do in tiktok you cannot do in tumblr that's why tumblr died you cannot do you, you couldn't do in vine that's what what vine 
died and you cannot do in instagram even that's uh, and instagram knows that because of the revenues and, and you cannot do and what you do in in TikTok, you cannot do in youtube for example right so uh, the success uh there okay of for me of TikTok is just um allowing people to do everything and and and, and close to pornography and that's why they still have that massive number even though on the business side even though on the business side uh they don't do so well uh, and, and and so that's that's interesting that was also a news uh you're back man um, yeah it's been been trippy yeah we, we have to wait with this social media because as it is right now like everything because it's new is gonna have a, a huge uh talk about huge noise people are gonna i'm gonna move to it and check it out for themselves but as you mentioned you 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 have to wait and see what happens because users are going to be the ones that will either kill the app or at least keep it alive uh, yeah independently. it's complicated but as, as as it is right now it's okay it's just another app it, it is it is it's not it's not changing the world in any way yeah i haven't <laughs> even downloaded it i'm not using it uh i don't have time for that um also breaking news for um this week uh twitter started uh their or they started to share the revenue as you know i don't know if you knew this but mark so uh, mark uh, elon Musk announced this back when he was doing his changes about um paying content creators for yep. share revenue for ads so something he, he's trying to do something like what youtube and twitch does but here on twitter which i personally think it's a great idea if you ask me uh, yeah yeah because he's he's, he's, sent, he's incentivizing people that create content to keep doing it <laughs> yeah you need that content to have people stay in your platform <laughs> so this week uh, was like the first revenue share and some content creator reportedly received even 100 million dollars 100 thousand dollars i'm sorry and yeah. Yeah, I saw I saw a few here and there. I, I saw twenty k here, thirty k around. Uh, yeah, it was of, it, it was crazy, and and it's not like Twitter is making money. So you wonder about that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a bet, you know. It's a bet mm. of uh, and when of okay, people are gonna see this, right? They're gonna see Mr. Beast number. They're gonna see ah. all these people number and gonna say just as people do in, uh, 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 in youtube okay maybe i can do that maybe i can i i pay the blue mark and and then it's gonna pay itself right that's like the dream right if you pay seven dollars i don't know how how much the blue mark costs uh then you are eligible to have some money back and if you do a good enough job like you could do in youtube you're gonna receive that money back and maybe some extra uh, so it's interesting that there's people that already needs or works with twitter right like news uh outlets or or, or news pay people uh content creators so if they now pay the blue mark they will have some incentives so it, it it's it's i think it's a good business idea let's see how it goes but yeah i've seen some numbers and man yeah, they're good numbers <laughs> yeah for for companies it's like a thousand dollars a month uh so they have to to break even like brands uh they have to pay a thousand or make more than a thousand which eh, is doable but still uh for small creators i just check uh or for regular people i know uh mm -hmm. it's eight dollars a month so yeah it, mr is saying eight dollars yeah. is nothing and then he got i don't know 20k maybe who knows? Uh, yeah. I don't know if he has disclosed his revenue. He, he said, I saw a tweet that uh, it, the most retweeted or liked tweet on this thread will get my revenue. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people went crazy. I saw that. That's such a great idea because now he's generating more 
um, content, more content, <laughs> and more he's engagement, gonna, more. Yeah, he's gonna receive more money from that. And more money, and like <laughs> this guy, this guy, I don't know. He he he's a he, he, he's a marketing genius. I'm not gonna say that that he's not because I what I cannot stand his content. I cannot sit and stand what he makes. But I watch it, analyze it, and I and I understood how he gets the numbers he gets because his content is so neutral perfect perfectly neutral to everyone and viral um, and and, viral. and goes and um, because of his his demographic is pretty much everyone uh then you can reach well everyone and <laughs> and he's so catered to to please the algorithm that is just it just does and it becomes a cycle because you do good you keep doing the same thing and everyone or pretty much a lot of people try to imitate or get as close to his content as possible and the worst example of it and the the thing i hate the most is what he did he did to the thumbnail his thumbnails are the standard of what thumbnails in YouTube for pretty much everywhere should be. And it's him, it is something in the background, and you with doing a face in the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. yeah, doing, yeah. A face, doing, yeah. doing a stupid face, like, uh, and I tried to put my camera here, I don't know if you can see it. It's like, and we should do that just to test, to test something. And I'm sure that if we get 10 views on a regular uh, stream, on that video, we're gonna get at least twenty, which is an increase of hundred percent. But yeah. it, and it's not much. But his his company is going. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we should do that face, and I'm gonna clip it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah man. That's it. And, that's the dream. And, and and that's and that's it and that's and, and that's and that's the game with 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 the thumbnail like, is you get to put your face on it do it uh i'm sorry i'm gonna say this but it, but it, like, this is what it comes a dildo dildo face on it like do a dildo face on it i'll do it just do it no but it's but it's like that like dude how it's annoying it, and and i watch youtubers that now the thumbnails are, are that because why because it works because it's like somehow this guy doesn't well he works for youtube but it's like he's youtube in a way because if he does it youtube is like yeah 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 that's good <laughs> okay last topic just to go man i have to go and take care of my baby so we had the xbox activision deal finally come but well it hasn't come through yet officially but the ftc trial um verdict was known and it was ruled in favor of microsoft and xbox which means that now their deal with activision by an activision blizzard uh is is on and most likely it's gonna be done in a couple of weeks um so i know we have talked about this a lot i just wanted you to get me your most outrageous prediction for what we're gonna see uh in the future outrageous Bobby, prediction go 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 nuts man but we call it is gonna get a raise <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, please, no. because why not no please don't <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh man yeah i don't know if you saw this but um yeah it was a good day for me 90 dollars it's now oh you you bought you bought i i how well how was your entry point which, which was your entry i think point? i bought around here i think it's like 80 85 something like that and it's now 90 yeah. and i think the predictions are there is I'm, I'm holding i'm holding let me tell you oh something. no no it's gonna go up it's gonna take time it's, gonna, it's not it, it's not gonna happen tomorrow or in a week. but it, it did go up so when when this news broke you, it was mm. at 82 and it jumped to 90 so now it's at 90 and it's gonna jump it, it's gonna go even more because now they just need to deal with the cma and after they deal with uk uh it, i think this can go even to 95 dollars so i'm gonna wait when, when it's 95 i will sell or even maybe wait until they merge. I don't know what will happen. I have to start it. 
maybe they will give us Microsoft share uh, stocks. I don't think so, but no, uh, I don't, well, I don't know. It's not like an, uh, I'm an expert on it, but it's gonna go up. How much? Oh, no, 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 this is not. This is Morgan's title. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know, but it's gonna go up. Uh, the The question here will be how fast. Uh, that that will be the well. Uh, ugh. Each every three, four, five. Mm. Mm. Oh my god! So yeah, yeah, it was a good day. So yeah, Microsoft deal went through, man. Uh, it's gonna go through. My most outrageous take is gonna be that actually, well, I'm uh, 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 okay. Let me say this, and then we go to what we hope would happen. My most outrageous thing that will happen is that uh, woe would come to Xbox. Uh, that that uh, that will be weird. That will be weird. But but that's why it's out there. My most outrageous. Um, uh, I I don't know how can you even on the technical side because WoW is well no, known for you, maybe you don't know this because you you stop following um, WoW uh, and WoW um, content creator, but they actually they actually release. Uh, a year ago, an update for um, um, to play WoW with control. So right now you can play WoW with a control in your PC, like in a control, like an actual control. And this was done obviously for accessibility issues, because mm. the mouse and keyboard it's not it's not for a, a, any for accessibility or for person with a, 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 in situation of this capability. Uh, so you can actually play it, and there is like a mode where you target. So you don't have, you know that the, the main thing is that you need a mouse to target. So now there is a way that you can soft target with with where you are, and it, it points like a like a pointer, like a bullet point mm -hmm. uh, uh, in your screen. And when you uh, when you hover over a, a, a target, it now glows a little bit, and then you can just uh, click a button, and then you lock into that target you know something like that so they put some effort into that already for the accessibility actually it was huge because people were saying okay this is a confirmation what is coming to consoles and they had to come out and say no we're not coming to consoles yet this is only for um people with accessibility issues and stuff like that which is now like a standard in, in gaming but the technology is already there and that's why i think it's not out of the realm of possibility um but let's see it's just outrageous now what did you think or what are you hoping what do you hope it would happen i i don't know what to hope for blizzard because they I they <laughs> they just be, they just became uh like the money focus shareholder company uh in mind yeah <laughs> uh, it, it is that they they and I, obviously that's okay if you're a shareholder. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, if you're a gamer, the uh, you're a gamer like you you, you go like you Diablo start thinking. Was good. Yeah, was yeah, good. It, it did good. Uh, now, good now you got a way to see what happens or what they come up with or I don't know. But uh, the only thing come good lately that I you know heard hair good stuff about it was Diablo because Overwatch uh, we all know what happened to that uh whoa is still alive but it's just another expansion and okay the faction yeah. actually got received very well from from people that are still playing um, yeah I think who knows <laughs> yeah but no I'm telling you because I, I still watch some videos but yeah what I'm hoping would happen in general for Activision Blizzard, which is a company that um, we all we we played a lot of time for, uh it's that they will fire Bobby Kotick. That's my biggest dream of all this time. Is going to get a raise. <laughs> yeah, a yeah, severance yeah. package. <laughs> yeah, just fire him, give him some money, a severance package, and just uh remove him and and you know have Activision do their thing, you know, like separate the companies because now yeah, they, they should do that. They are. Yeah, because now they are not be beneath Bobby. You know, they are not Activision Blizzard King. Now 
they are part of Xbox and Microsoft, so they can be Activision on one side, King on the other side, and Blizzard on the other side, just as they have Bethesda on the other side. You know, they can be just individual studios. And um, so that's my hope, that they will fire uh, Bobby Kotick and then they will, let's say, break them, like, uh, organizationally. And so Activision can do their thing, and Blizzard can do their thing and be back to being uh, what they were. That's my hope. It all starts with fi firing Bobby Kotick. That's it, man. That's our show for today. Um, yeah. We're late. Close us. Close us, man. All right, everyone. Thank you all for coming up. Uh, we got a lot of things going on. Just remember, we have a lot of videos on YouTube, from Spotify. You can follow us at All The Infiliers. Don't forget to subscribe, to leave your comments. Hit the like button. You can also find us on Instagram and even threads. I don't know if that's even going to be a thing, but you, you can find us there because why not? Why why not be there? It's free in, well, in a way. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also follow us on Kick at OnlyFillers. And see you soon.